Hi, folks. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, quite a lot of uh, folks today with us on the call. Uh, we're super excited to host us with us today. Um, uh, today, me and my colleague Peter will uh, be sharing uh, very important updates on our crowd loan campaign on Polkadot. Uh, we are really thrilled about its launch. Uh, it's going to be live uh, literally today. Um, so it's a very impactful event uh, in, on our roadmap in terms of equilibrium. So to kick off, let me, um, as usual, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Alex. I'm the CEO and the founder with the Equilibrium team. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, we're building the super app for DeFi, which uh, includes uh, the full-fledged money markets, uh, the professional grades spot markets with margin trading functionality, and uh, uh, we are going to build a perpetual market as well, which will be full of different synthetic assets and uh, will be very attractive for more professional market participants. So without further ado, let me give it over to Peter, who will introduce himself. Uh, thank you, Alex. Yes. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you here. Lots of people. I'm very excited. And uh, my name is Peter. I manage the technical team with Equilibrium. And uh, today, uh, along with Alex, going to be sharing with you some important news and updates. Yes. Amazing. Uh, amazing. So uh, we, we actually have prepared some slides for you guys and give you a short presentation of what's going on specifically with uh, with our problem on Polkadot and also we share some updates uh, uh, which might be relevant for those who participate in the crowd loan on Kusama. Uh, besides that, we'll have a very special guest today with us. Uh, we'll be uh, hosting James Wu of DFG Capital here and um, he will be answering us our questions. And uh, by the way, if you guys have something to ask um, uh, for uh, from James, just put your question into your uh, questionnaire section. Uh, you can see it's uh, in the bottom of the screen uh, here. Ask, ask a question, just put your question onto there and we'll uh, try to pick every, every question that you will be there. So let me share uh, my screen and um, I will um, take it from there. Um, just hold on a sec. Okay, so today's agenda, like a very short presentation, uh, we will be covering the aspects of our cloud loan campaign on Polkadot. Uh, then we'll share very important things related to our uh, actually completed uh, cloud loan campaign on Kusama. Uh, we'll be sharing the eventually the data of Jinchira tokens distribution. I think uh, many of you actually were uh, asking for that in our community channels and uh, here it is we'll share the exact day today um, so then uh, we'll be covering some uh, very specific jinshira token staking use cases uh, we will um, also share some insights on the axe dot launch and its initial mechanics then we'll host uh, james Wu, and uh, basically we'll be answering your guys questions um, so without further ado um, let me actually share some more details in our crowd loan which is going live literally today and we are very excited about that because uh, this is the events we have been preparing for for quite a while uh, we'll be thinking through this strategy that we we'll, we are introducing to the, to the general audience and we think that it's one of the most balanced crowd loan campaigns uh, which you can even see in the space um, uh, like overall so first of all, uh, the overall allocation of EQ tokens uh, is a tremendous 1.5 billion uh, EQs. And um, actually, it comes to uh, the base rewards of 200 EQ tokens uh, per, each, uh, per each dot. Um, so um, actually, uh, we also have allocated uh, the huge 500 million bonus pool, uh, which uh, actually introduces up to 40% bonuses. So if to sum up uh, these two numbers, we will have uh, the amazing, um, actually 2 billion EQ tokens plus those 400, which we have already distributed, it, it brings this allocation to 20% of the overall EQ supply. So we kind of uh, very generous to our community and uh, very thankful to those who are, who are participating in our problem campaigns um, on Polkadot and uh, also on Kusama, uh, yeah, I think those who participate in Kusama also know that we're kind of 
uh, paying high rewards on uh, assets contributed to these crowd loan campaigns. So this is not the exception, and we think that the allocation of 20% is uh, quite generous uh, overall. So uh, we have prepared quite a lot of bonuses for our community. Uh, like uh, again, as I said, I, I, the 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 bonuses uh, can be actually topped up to uh, forty percent uh, on your contribution uh, on your regular rewards. And we have the referral program up and running. Uh, so if you guys want to earn on someone's participation in our problem campaign go right away to our uh, website equilibrium.io register for the referral program get your link start sharing it across your social channels whatever um, across the community and start earning three percent uh, from those uh, contributions that will be done through your referral link so uh, the referral program also presumes that not just re uh, referee but also referrals uh, gets the bonus so eventually it's six percent three percent on each side and um, actually what's very special about our crowd loan campaign is that we are actually introducing uh, the x dot functionality which allows for keeping your dot liquid so it means that you are putting you can put dots into our crowd loan campaign right now and after that uh, we'll, you will get X dot once we get the slot. And so uh, you can actually do multiple things with X dots. Uh, so it has very many use cases on um, in our product line. So it can be used as collateral to take out loans, for example. Uh, you can borrow, for example, more dots to participate in more crowd loan campaigns then. Um, or, for example, you can borrow stable points if you want to raise liquidity. Um, in other use cases, just staking X dots into either liquidity pools um, and uh, earning yields, uh, specifically on uh, liquidity farming, for example. And uh, in, other, in other use case, to put it into the, our dedicated market maker to earn yield on market making uh, on X dot to dot uh, peer. So the um, early bird bonus uh, will be 30%. Um, and um, actually, it will be, it's, it's active now. So if you participate in, the, um, in our problem campaign, you will get 30% bonus right now, right away. So if you want to participate, you can go to um, um, our website, um, either, link, uh, either to the Axdot platform or to our crowd loan. Um, a web page and start uh, actually uh, voting for us right away. Um, so um, here's what actually the community has been waiting for quite a long period of time uh, and uh, constantly asking us regarding when exactly we'll be distributing Jinchira tokens. So uh, we have made a decision uh, and so we're coming up with the exact date on uh, the Jinchira token launch. Um, I mean, specifically the distribution of those tokens which were uh, specifically um, um, accounted for those who participated in the crowd loan campaign on Kusama. And um, actually, uh, this date is the 20th of January. So the reason behind, behind like specifically this date is that we actually uh, need to get prepared for this distribution, specifically on the product side, because we actually want to give you guys um, a full uh, lineup of opportunities to stake your Jinchira tokens in our platform. And in order to start accepting actually Jans in, in Jinchira, we need to make certain preparations, uh, specifically with regards to assessing um, um, Gens collaterals in our uh, money markets, and so there are some developments still required. And so we decided, you know, to get to, to be prepared for that. And so that's why the, uh, the 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 date is actually set quite in the future. But uh, eventually, you will get like firstly 10% of the initial distribution, and then the vesting will be launched, and you will getting um, uh, your Jinchira tokens linearly. So uh, since we have kind of delayed this event, uh, we actually uh, understand that there, there were some tokens which were not distributed through this period of time. And um, actually, this 15% due will actually be distributed to you at the end of uh, the operation list period. However, you can earn farming rewards on it, which is, which is, which is really good. And uh, also, just a heads up uh, to those who participated in uh, the um, 
uh, log drop, um, uh, those acute token holders who participate in the log drop, they will also start receiving your uh, their Jinchuria tokens um, starting the 20th of January. So save the date, uh, 20th of January is uh, the date when we start distributing Jinchuria tokens to you guys. So uh, without further ado, let me give it over to Peter, who will go through the Jinchira tokens use cases for those who are um, actually hold Jinchira tokens and going to, yeah. to keep up with your sort of strong hands. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, so uh, first of all, as you see uh, here down at the bottom, uh, basically we have uh, compared relative performance of those projects who are actually parachains right now and who are listed. Uh, since the November 8th peak in Kusama tokens, since we are in Kusama ecosystem. And as you can see, uh, well, it's been a hard hit for uh, all of us, but Jinshira performs relatively well compared to others. And uh, the whole point of this slide is uh, just to reiterate that we want uh, uh, our users uh, not to uh, run to exchanges and get rid of their tokens, but because we provide a lot of different use cases for those, and uh, eventually we're actually building like this decentralized brokerage and insurance uh, business and holders of Jinchiro tokens, uh, they will take a direct participation in management of this business. And uh, to give you a better idea, I will cover in brief some of the use cases we currently have some of the use cases we are preparing so uh you can compare and see that uh our tokenomics is pretty much uh really solid in these terms so uh first of all as alex already mentioned you can stake jinshiro uh tokens in liquidity pools and earn more jinshiro tokens on those and uh, as many of you may not might know uh might know uh we currently have like this boosted farming rewards uh which will last till December 25th. You can get up to 50% APR on your liquidity inside Jinshiro. Um, not only that, uh, in our previous community calls, we covered the new farming model. And um, uh, within that new model, once we launch it and once we deploy it to production, you will be able to boost your rewards uh, up to 100% if you hold... Uh, Jinshiro tokens in your portfolio. So the more Jinshiro tokens you hold in your portfolio, the more uh, rewards you get. And uh, this, new, this new mechanics is uh, really fascinating by itself because, uh, you know, it has this uh, sort of game theoretical approach where uh, any changes in your balance, they change the relative picture of uh, farming rewards for the whole system. And uh, it's designed the way that the entire system uh, actually strives to uh, find some sort of equilibrium point where everyone would eventually maximize their rewards. And uh, we have run lots of simulations and uh, I can say that uh, within the new model, the farming rewards will be boosted even further. So you can expect up to 100% APR uh, with current liquidity levels we observe in our system. Um, so that's for the second use case. Now moving on. Uh, uh, another cool feature we're considering and uh, currently working on is uh, Gens Collateral to borrow KSM and the DOT to participate in uh, further crowd loans. So uh, this is a really fascinating use case by itself because, uh, you know, borrowing terms in our uh, platform are relatively uh, loose, uh, not strict, so to speak. And... Uh, you can get a pretty decent leverage. Uh, so pretty much you can, uh, you know, put down gens to collateral, borrow dots and go vote for the project of your choice. Uh, <clears throat> and the good part is uh, since you will be getting X dots, you can actually use those X dots to put them back into the collateral pool again and get more dot tokens or more Kusama tokens. So. Uh, you will eventually get leveraged uh, in this way and uh, get like a leveraged exposure to uh, <clears throat> projects participating in crowd loans. Uh, we are actually wrapping this whole idea into this sort of product for a user where all the technical stuff is abstracted, uh, but it's a lot of uh, work and we hope to launch it uh, next year somewhere and uh, all of the 
upcoming auctions starting next year will uh, be supported by these mechanics. Um, uh, maybe just just one thing I wanted to add to that right away. So we, you actually guys uh, know that we have integrated Hico recently, and uh, actually uh, we have the H dot assets available on the platform already. And um, actually H dots is pretty easily convertible into dots, so you can start borrowing edge dot right now and once you get your Jinchiri tokens you can use it as collateral to to get edge dots then to convert it to dot if you wish and to participate in crowd loan campaign uh campaigns as well yeah uh peter just, just maybe one thing so look we we're actually running out of time uh like because we need to pick big big james okay, uh sure. bringing on the screen so what, what if we put this way so i will um i will actually invite uh james uh to to, to, to the screen first. Uh, we'll have a conversation and then we'll get back to the sure. presentation, cover the rest of uh, things that we have not covered yet. And uh, then, yeah, so let's do that. Okay. Hold on a sec. Let me find James. Okay, good James. Seven connecting. Okay. Um, so waiting for James Wu of uh, the of DG Capital. Hi, James. How are you, man? Hello, Alex. Nice meeting you, everyone. This is James. Nice meeting uh, you. Yeah. Uh, Hi, James. Nice Amazing. to meet you. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Do you want to introduce uh, yourself? Give a little bit lowdown on DFG. Uh, what did you guys doing in the space? Uh, I, I, I think you're one of the most active DOT supporters these days. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so hello everyone, this is James from DFG. Basically, we are an uh, investment firm start from 2015. Uh, you know, investing in a bunch of equity deal first, you know, a uh, lot of license stuff like Requirelist, Circle, Ledger X, this kind of license stuff. But so after from 2017, we are having two protocols. So Polkadot is probably the most important protocol that we are pretty strategic and do, you know support from from the very beginning and it just keeping supported, you know, all through the past kind of like a four years and accumulating a decent amount of thought and being pretty much pretty versed in this ecosystem. So investing to a lot of ecosystem projects these days, uh, including like a car like Affinity, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, A-Star, Interlay, and a definite equilibrium as well. I mean, you know, just support a decent, uh, we just support a decent kind of product project and try to build a better ecosystem. So right now we are, you know, very strategic into uh, Polkadot and really this is something we want to support and really hold for, for the long term. Yeah, that's basically the, the short summary. Amazing. Thank you very much. So just a quick question for maybe which will be very interesting uh, to those who are watching us right now. So um, how many how many dots you guys hold in your bags? How much you're invested in the ecosystem? Just in the ballpark, maybe? Yeah, I, uh, it's a uh, thank you. Thank you for asking these questions. Like everyone wants to ask me about this. But, you know, I guess, you know, what I can say here is like uh, we, we start buying that from the very beginning and keeping buying it when nobody, you know, buying it. And after listing, we also buy it. So right now we have, I mean, I would, to be honest, I mean, we have, uh, I would say eight digit number of dot. Uh, I, I know there's other people who also have that kind of number, which is bigger than ours, but you know, still we, we just try to accumulate more and be in long term holder for this. Interesting. Uh, d d don't you worry about like, other stakeholders like yourself and uh, maybe about yourself to be sort of manipulative uh, against the the ecosystem like uh, because if you hold these amounts of dot you basically can make any project to become uh to basically become the the parachain on polka dot like i believe right and this is uh, kind of might affect the governance processes on the network what do you think about that yeah, good question. So our strategy is trying to be diversified and support really the top tier project like you guys. So, you know, for for example, for the first batch, batch of Perlon, uh, we we almost support less than a little bit less than two million dollars to two different projects. 
to Akala, to Star, to Affinity, really two different projects. So it could be DeFi, it could be platform, it could be NFT and gaming. So we just try to be more diversified, not just putting all, all of our data into one ba basket. I mean, that's not fair to the project. Also, that's very risky for us. So that's the things I want to say. The yeah. other is like we have like a, um, I would say uh, eventually we'll have a hundred pair chain. So, right. So if we being very diversified, I don't think it will cause any kind of, you know, manipulation problem for this cause, you, you know, we, you know, if you, we divide it out to a lot of player, then, you know, supporting them equally, if they're a very, very decent project, then, you know, I, I think that will create a, actually a better kind of environment for, for project to, to compete with each other. So actually that's, I would say healthy to the popular ecosystem. Exactly. And uh, how healthy you consider uh, the, the current uh, cloud loan campaigns in terms of like diversification of its investors and uh, like overall, like uh, whether whether actually whales decide who will be who will get priority in slots or you think it's more community driven. So what, what's your take on that? Um, uh, I, I think it's a great question. I think for for the crowd loan, it's really about both. But, you know, mainly depends on the community. If you check about, you know, the movie and the color, you know, uh, people think they are way ahead. But if you check the address who really voting for these two projects, it's way bigger than other projects, right? So that's why these two projects are the top two projects, you know, which get a person. So basically that, that proves that if you have a strong community with a lot of people support you guys, then you will be way ahead with other projects. So what we're you know, going to decide is really, you know, when these two projects have the same level of communities, have really a lot of people supporting them and at the same level, and then, you know, probably one will, uh, you know, kind of one big dot holder coming to place and voting for one project and they will win. But I think that that should be fun because basically you are talking about kind of one position, right? If you got like a slot number three or four, if you got three no, slot number seven or eight, which which is fun. I mean, you are still getting a slot if you are within that range of community support. So I think for, mm -hmm. for the project, it, it's really important about, you know, whether it can, you know, have the solid product and also whether you have a strong community can support your project and support your product. So I, th I think that's still the key for the, for the Polkadot project to be very successful. Exactly. I, I think I think I think that as well. And um, actually, just uh, also, I, I know that you guys participated in uh, um, Kusama crowd loans as well, right? So, do you see any difference in terms of your experience on Kusama and Dots? And uh, what's your vision of that? Great question. I think this is you know I, I got a lot of you know people who have the same kind of question for this. I think it's very good question. So first. I think to start on, you will see a lot of uh, projects that they deploying basically on two uh, protocols, Kusama and Adopt. Basically, I would say they will be the same project, have two uh, you know, separate token deploying on that. But later on, you, what we will see is really these two uh, uh, protocols will be very, very different. Uh, first, there's already a trend that you know, there's a uh, project only built on Kusama, not Polkadot. Uh, for example, like, uh, you know, uh, what I know is like a Qt, uh, just do Kusama first. They are not competing for, at least right now, not competing for the uh, Polkadot crowd loan. And also there's a few other like sub-social. They are also just doing uh, Kusama only. And there's other, you know, um, a great NFT project called Remark. So, you know, Web3 Foundation people, Bruno is a great guy, and they, they only build on Kusama. So I think there will be a lot of, pro and, and for Polkadot as well, you know, the team of Engine, they only build Affinity, they only choose to be built on Polkadot, but not Kusama. So I think later mm -hmm. on, uh, we will see, you know, different projects just trying to use different protocol, which is still very healthy for, for these uh, two protocols to, to grow in the future. Uh, but still, for 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 the uh, the project which deploying on both protocol, but they will still have uh, I I would say they will still have very you know kind of a uh, different you know uh, ways to go since two, these two protocols are pretty different. Either they may just trying to I mean focus on one 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 protocol or they are doing building different product. So I think eventually these two you know fundamental product uh, pro protocol will be very very different. That's that's my understanding. Got it, got it, got it. So, how do you assess uh, the first batch of auctions on on Polkadot? 
Yeah, I, I think Oval is still very successful because basically uh, Polkadot have a way bigger market cap than Kusama, right? So it, it's easy for Kala to raise 5% of Kusama because because of the uh, the market cap of Kusama is, is low. So you don't need to raise a huge amount of money. But if you talk about 5% of Polkadot, that's at the time they raised is somewhere like $2 billion. So that, that that's like a, a, a really a, a big number. So what they end up with is still a very good number, like a movie and a, uh, put it out there, uh, a movie and their color, they are still end up with more than 3% of total supply of uh, dot, which is still, I think, very, very big number. So you you, you were at least, uh, in the future have 100 patients. So, you know, 3% to start with the first two is not a bad number, right? So I think from, from the time on, and, and you, you will see, you know, um, uh, A star and a parallel is somewhere around 1%. And also, I mean, the uh, the fifth student decided whether it's Clover or Affinity, it's it's also close to 1%. So I, if you talk about the number, I think it's a very, very healthy number. And we can see the second bunch batch of problem and the third batch of problem will for sure be very, very complex competitive, there will be a lot of great projects uh, who are trying to be uh, the, 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 the patient slot in the second batch of problem and the third batch of problem. So I think it was still uh, healthy for, for this project to compete with each other to raise a decent amount of dot and their, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, this is still, still, still very, very good. I mean, Kusama problem already be proved very, very successful. I think same thing will happen to, to pull it up. Cool. Do you have any projections on uh, the second batch, uh, like which projects uh, you uh, consider as the most powerful and uh, who most likely get slots or maybe you have some other predictions or something maybe in terms of sizes which will be raised in crowd loan campaigns and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think, you know, great question. I think for, 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 for my understanding, you know, um, you know, the, the, the one who, who lose their fifth, you know, the, the previous slot, either Clover or a Clover or, or Affinity will definitely moving for their se second bunch of Carlon. And also, uh, Manta will definitely do that, right? So Manta is very close to, to these two. And we will see new project already announced their strategy, uh, including interlay, uh, composable finance. Maybe later on, we will have, uh, Hydra DX, uh, Centrifuge. You know, these are very solid projects. Uh, I definitely you guys as well, equilibrium. So I think there will be still uh, a lot of great projects who's kind of trying to compete for the fifth, uh, fifth kind of, uh, the, sorry, the second batch of the, the, the patients now, yeah. So do, do, don't you think that it's still kind of like, there, there might be two strategies, right? In terms of your problem campaign. So the first one is to get like one of the first slots to basically overpay for that. But uh, in exchange, you get a lot of exposure, marketing, community influx, and so on and so forth. So like the second strategy, uh, which might be also reasonable, uh, by the way, when you're just, you know, uh, holding things back and participate in later crowd loan, like later auctions and basically pay uh, just uh, little amounts of tokens for the slots you get, uh, way less than if you would be participating in the first first rounds. Uh, but you kind of in, in safer safer place uh, doing that. So what which strategy you think more uh, kind of feasible, relevant, and uh, actually makes sense? Yeah, I, I think great question. I think from my understanding, it doesn't make a lot of sense if you just. Uh, do this for the purely marketing reasons. I think that makes no sense because basically the first five uh, pair chain will launch together at the same time. There's no like the first one will be ahead of the second one. That's not the case, right? So it will right. launch at the same time. So um, and the second batch of the uh, you know pair chain will launch at the same time. So it's it's only a, 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 a you know a, a difference that if you are not a first batch, if you had a second batch or a third batch, so that's that's probably you know give a slightly difference about the timing, but still not too big, right? Somewhere like more than more than months, but still not 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 crazy kind of time difference. So I think the strategy here is really trying to find the right path for you. Basically, people will view, you know I, I think still I mean it's important to build a solid project and build a solid product. So once people recognize the the, the project and recognize the the, the the product they will vote for a project so you know 
uh, then they will give kind of you, you guys will raise more dot 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 than other 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 project. It's like a somehow like a, you know it they you know give probably potential higher valuation for for your token, right? So that's the reason why they can raise more dot. Um, I think this is still the most important thing for the project. So I, what I suggest is that for the project is really to find really where they are. Uh, it's a project that we're solid. What kind of community we ha uh, I have and what is the you know potential valuation for my project if you find a rat you know kind of like a, a number for these kind of questions then you will probably know where you are at, at a product i really don't suggest you know um the project just just for the purely marketing reasons try to diluting a lot of the tokens and try to win this i mean that that's make no sense in the long term it's not healthy for the project Cool. Yeah. Thanks very much for this uh, for these insights, James. I, uh, I I don't know whether you need to go or you sure the time, but maybe just one question I also have from my side. So, um, do you have any kind of wish for equilibrium in the coming crowdfund campaign? Uh, maybe some suggestions or advices that you can give us. Yeah, I wish you guys can raise a lot of thought. I mean, it, it's a project, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love your project. It, it's really, you know, I mean, your, your product's amazing. It's like, you know, because in, in the Ethereum network, it's pretty isolated. You got Uniswap here doing DAX. You you need to use RV or make compound or make it out. But, you know, for, for, for people like us in the in the crypto industry, that that's fine. You can go to every platform to use it. But for the retail investor, it's really important to put everything together. Here's all the functionality that you, you have. Then you can just go to our platform and use all the functionality. So that's really important. And what you guys do is really amazing. You guys do staking, you guys do DAX, you guys do lending. It's very friendly to the to the retail investor that I can go to your platform and use basically all the product I want to use. So that's really something, you know, I I, I you know I that's why I'm a big fan of equilibrium and your project is like you are making really a, a useful product for the retail customer. So that's why I love you guys. So I hope people will understand the value as well and really voting for you guys. A lot of, you know, uh, dot holders uh, want to uh, really want to voting for you guys. I think that's the right, right choice to do. Amazing. Thank you very much for your kind words, by the way. Uh, we will actually, ho hopefully this will be cut into quotes and just uh, throw, throw, throw it out to the internet. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, th this is real James Wu. So if you guys have any questions uh, to him, just ask it right away, because I know that James is kind of short on time and needs to go. He has another call right after our uh, short interview. Um, so guys please don't hesitate drop your questions to the questionnaire question, uh, section here if uh, not james we actually kind of good so i think we have uh, asked everything we wanted to ask you so if you have maybe any questions uh, to ask whatever feel free to do that to to, to we will be happy to, to to answer them otherwise like uh, uh thank you very much yeah, great. Thank you, Alex. Good to be here. So everyone, if you want to know about, you know, know further about Polkadot and if you want to connect with DFG, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that it's very comfortable to work with the DFG fund. They are super responsive, super um, attached to what their portfolio companies do and actually always like keep 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 in the loop of our dates, uh, keeping in the loop of our updates. And we're actually uh, super excited to work with you guys. Thank you very much for joining today's call. And uh, yeah, till, 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 till soon. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, good to be. Thank you, James. Thank you. Bye, James. bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, cool. This was uh, uh, James um, Wu, uh, the CEO of uh, the TFG Capital. Um, so let us maybe continue uh, with the, our short presentation. <laughs> so we still have uh, something to share with you guys, specifically with regards to the dot launch. Just hold on a sec. Let me share my screen uh, once uh, once again, and uh, we just you know finish our presentation and then we start answering your guys' question. Mm -hmm. So Peter, do, do we need to uh, do we need to um, cover something on this slide yeah 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 uh i only came up to the third bullet uh and i already see some comments in the chat 
people say it will be 40 percent just like before no it won't i just mentioned it will be much higher and because we've run a lot of simulation testing as and as i told you uh with current level of collateral well uh it's obvious the more liquidity in the system uh the less the apr will get eventually because we distribute you know the finite uh amount of tokens but uh Currently, when we migrate to the new model, uh, you will get uh, 100 plus APR. I can guarantee that. Uh, a lot of simulation has been done, and uh, that not only applies to whales, but also to people who bring uh, not that much of liquidity. And uh, as I told you, it's an interesting mechanics where everybody basically strives to uh, achieve this uh, overall equilibrium um to boost everyone else's rewards um so that's it uh and also yeah we stopped on the fact that you could be leveraging uh your x dots uh to get more dots and to get more kusamas and to vote for the projects of your choice and we're actively working on that so it's like a whole new product we are planning to put out for our users uh and you will need gens for that as well uh, another use case um, for gen re gens rewards uh, is basically, uh, as you may know, we uh, talked with PancakeSwap and others, and we plan to launch our pools there to go to uh, different AMMs, and uh, they all have these incentive programs uh, for users to bootstrap liquidity, and we will be giving out uh, gens rewards there as well. And the cool part about these AMMs since we are already cross-chain, we connected uh, three blockchains, which are Ethereum, um, Binance Smart Chain, and Hiko recently. And we're working on uh, connecting a Polygon uh, network uh, and going to be launching that uh, as early as uh, January next year. So another exciting news. And you will be able to bring uh, LP tokens from those different AMM pools into Genshira system and... Uh, LP tokens, they in turn have their own value, so you can earn more rewards on those. So um, as you may notice, lots of different use cases uh, you can use your gens for. So put it into the AMM pool, get LP tokens, bridge them into the Jinshiro, earn more Jinshiro tokens, participate in system governance, participate in system activities. Uh, lots of fun stuff you can do, actually. Uh, gamification and gens betting is coming soon as well. Uh, that's like another uh, cool feature we're working on. Um, pretty much uh, these are uh, binary options on the blockchain uh, with voting on some different events, some different stuff. And uh, it's uh, fairly easy to implement this stuff, but it's another use case for gens holders. And uh, it's uh, an interesting use case because it brings, you know, this gamification to the process and uh, you can bet on different events on uh, like uh, will the price of Kusama reach uh, some level by some time or uh, will this project win this parachain slot or, or the next parachain slot etc etc and uh, pretty much uh, there's uh, well there are more marketing and um, user interaction activities here than actually, you know, coding and putting it up together. But that's uh, another thing we're working on and it's coming early next year as well. And uh, also one more thing we're considering since, you know, uh, we already pretty much put out uh, the whole, all of the code for the DEX to production. Uh, we just don't have front end for it uh, yet. Surprise, surprise. So we pretty much delivered up to our promises that we'll be launching DEX uh, before the New Year's. And uh, we're working hard to put up the front end for you guys so you can play with that as well. And as you know, as I covered uh, on previous uh, community calls, uh, our uh, risk and margin engine is built that uh, way that we can uh, support synthetic assets uh, out of the box pretty much so uh the matter of adding for example tesla stock uh to jinshira is the matter of uh you know uh, voting uh for uh this uh asset to appear in our system uh from jinshira holders and uh one of the interesting mechanics we're considering here is basically uh to tie the amount of open interest in uh all those synthetic assets 
uh, to the actual GENS liquidity, which is kept in the system. We're still considering some of the details here and how to make that uh, uh, best use case possible. But uh, still, you see, that's another reason to keep Jinshiro in the system. The more Jinshiro there is uh, inside uh, our parachain, inside Jinshiro uh, blockchain, the uh, more it can actually naturally grow, the more depth can appear in the system, the more stuff can be going on in the system. Uh, so. We're working on that as well. Uh, so I pretty much covered all the use cases. So the bottom line, guys, don't sell your gens, use them. Uh, a yeah. lot of cool use cases, exciting stuff. Uh, so Alex, if you could please switch to the next slide and uh, I will be covering there uh, our X dot distribution, which is also important. Lots of users have been waiting for that, especially in the light of that, uh, the first batch of auctions is actually ending today. So I'm going to be covering that as well um, in a greater detail. Yeah, Alex. Amazing, cool. Uh, so just ju just 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 maybe a few things uh, also to add to that with regards to the Axe dot launch. Um, so firstly, the launch date will be. Um, um, the can you switch the slide, please? Uh, I will talk about the X dot launch. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Sorry, but I'm already yeah. here. If you can see that. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, just, 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 just maybe a few things that um, worth mentioning here is just the launch date of December thirty first. Uh, the launch price will be one x dots uh, equals point um, three dots, and um, actually um, it will be hundred um, k um, x dot distributed to those who contributed for the x dot platform. Um, so, like after we launched the uh, automated market, can I add to that, Alex? Uh, I have sure, a couple sure, of comments. Ahead. Yeah. So, um, well, people might ask why uh, zero point three dot. Uh, well, uh, the main takeaway and the main point you need to understand that X dots, since are, their claims are dots, uh, they are discounted to the dot price. And uh, before we launch our new AMM, which will uh, treat this bond like securities and will price them effectively, because, uh, well, I can tell you the exact number. Uh, uh, if you lock dots for two years and you consider dots right now, uh, the price should be around uh, 0 0.75 dots. But uh, we decided to, uh, you know, give X dots before the new year arrives and make the price significantly less. So there is no temptation for users, you know, to opt out uh, by leveraging to the max and then uh, uh, pretty much uh, uh, defaulting on their debt and uh, in this way selling those X dots. But still, uh, it's pretty uh, decent amount and it's enough to start earning rewards inside Jinchiro. So, uh, yeah, please welcome. Uh, we will be doing that uh as Alex already said uh, before the New Year's, yeah, so that's why the date is here. So if it's not doesn't mean uh, that it will be exact 31st December. It's just like you know the date by which we will definitely do that. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Um, there was quite a lot to share with you guys. Uh, so sorry if someone expects just a very short presentation. Uh, we, we actually wanted to. To, to, to make it short, but eventually <laughs> it was not that, that short. Um, now let's make transition to questions that guys are dropping into um, into our questionnaire section. Um, okay, let's go. Um, how are both chains going to work with each other? Was it like, I'm curious, like, why don't we try to invite users on the screen to ask maybe some questions, some interesting questions on um, uh, a person. Hold on a second. Let's try to do that. Like we never tried before. Yeah, definitely. Let's get more involved. We want to get involved community. That's like the key. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying, but apparently they're not, none of them, uh, you know, um online but anyways okay so let's 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 just go through through a question so how are both chains going to work with each other what's the benefit of having two chains over one uh peter do you want to take it 
Uh, yeah, sure, I can. Uh, well, in this approach, we ba pretty much follow uh, the Kusama's lead. And uh, as Gavin put it, uh, Kusama is pretty much a value-bearing testnet. And uh, all the innovation and all the stuff which comes to Polka, it uh, first has to go through Kusama and get tested there. So Parachain started there, XCM is now being tested there, uh, projects have one slots there, and... Uh, we are we have uh, put out our production networks there uh, we have added a lot of tokens we're bri we've breached a lot of uh, blockchains and uh, pretty much we are also testing experiencing and playing uh with the ecosystem and uh, uh we are making sure that everything will work as intended in equilibrium uh, eventually uh, answering the question of the interconnection, uh, we already uh, have like a substrate, substrate bridge based on our bridge technology. And uh, that's one of the other many things we're currently working on. And um, once we launch that substrate, substrate bridge, uh, we will be able to bridge assets between uh, Polkadot ecosystem and Kusama ecosystem. And uh, this way, our uh, systems will get interconnected. So, for example, if you get your X dots, uh, you can always decide where to keep them. You can split them, put part into Equilibrium, earn EQ rewards, put another part into Jinshiro, earn Jinshiro rewards, find other use cases. You can um, use your assets across two different X systems and pretty much... Uh, this is very exciting news as we are uh, ahead of everyone else basically here because we'll be one of the first projects uh, bridging two ecosystems together, uh, which is for my part is really important as well because, uh, you know, since communities are uh, very different, but uh, they share lots of in common and we are all here for a common good for the Polkadot ecosystem to strive and grow and uh, uh, the more it's interconnected, the better it's for everyone eventually yeah yeah um, just one thing to add to that so uh, just for i ginger is uh, already open to the general audience you can basically start using it right away it has a lot of functionality currently bridging ethereum bc and hico they, they will be more chains to come and uh, it's actually it's 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 going on right right now so you can you can use Jinshir for your kind of purposes, uh, whatever you want, like land borrow, uh, earn yields, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, simultaneously, um, uh, simultaneously, there will be um, actually uh, more things to 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 come on Jinshir before even equilibrium make it to become parchy. So um, the next question. Um, is Equilibrium going to be ready for the next batch of, auction, of parachain auctions on December 23rd? Um, so, actually, Equilibrium is launching its crowd loan campaign literally today. Uh, I mean, on-chain crowd loan campaign. However, you already can stake for Equilibrium via X dots. Um, X dots, dots, Equilibrium dots IO. Uh, go there right away. And um, actually, um, join um, join the crowd loan campaign right now. Uh, today it will be will be fully on chain. Um, if the crowd loan cap is not reached, uh, will the remaining core rewards of 1.5 billion tokens be given to all contributors, like on the Chinchero crowd loan? So it will be split between PLO one and two contributors, just PLO two. Um, so for now we are not planning to split uh, these rewards um, however we reserve the rights to uh, apply some changes and uh, even apply some specific boosts uh, for achieving some short-term goals in terms of our crowd and campaign and um, actually this boost can be quite rewarding i would say um okay how's your work progressing are all of your planned tasks on time so yes uh, we are on time in terms of our developments and as peter mentions so we are going to release even the DAX before uh before new years i mean it's alpha versions and um, expectedly 
um, expectedly will start building some other functionals, like respectively perpetual starting um, starting January. Um, so when will we get our first 10% gens? Um, we actually covered that during the presentation. It will be on uh, January the 20th. Um, so like all the reward distribution will like in Jinchir will start uh, around this like literally on 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 January 20th. Um, okay, can you talk about the increased token supply? Um, and how this will help the project? Great question. So just for the context, if um, guys are not that familiar with uh, what what happens on, on Equilibrium, so recently we had community voting for um, for um, uh, redenomination. Um, and um, actually, we offered like three options either to leave things as as they were um, or to uh, multiply the overall token supply by 10 or to apply the 100 multiplier. So eventually through the community voting and actually everyone who holds um, EQ tokens uh, was el eligible to participate. And uh, based on these participations on these votings, we figured out that the most anticipated outcome was to basically to apply 100 like two digit multiplier on uh, sorry three digit multiplier on uh, on the overall supply and uh, currently uh, the overall supply of eq was increased uh, and it is um 12 billion eq tokens right now so uh from 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 the value perspective actually it's almost the same uh, and uh, actually everyone who holds dots has just the same share in the overall supply uh but uh we think like and that's not apparently not only our um um actually opinion on that so it, it will definitely help uh first of all the price appreciation right and um, uh, usually um like from the experience of our other projects if uh you have some token which has quite sort of good potential for the growth uh, and uh, it has like less price on the market, it actually has like better potential for, for further kind of price appreciation. Um, also, it's uh, more convenient in terms of like obvious like marketing reasons. For example, if you're assigning some bonuses and so on and so forth, it's, e it's easier to calculate that in uh, um, integer numbers rather than in uh, some weird uh, numbers like point something EQ tokens. Uh, so from this perspective, uh, this also will help the project to to develop. So, Peter, do you have maybe any other insights that you wanted to share with you in this regard? Uh, yeah, you are absolutely correct, Alex. One more thing I would uh, like to add. Uh, we are constantly watching the ecosystem and uh, other projects, their tokenomies, and uh, pretty much we, uh, when we came up with this uh, community vote, we have taken that into consider consideration as well. And all of the projects we see in ecosystem, they have like a substantial token supply. So... Uh, yeah, we decided to align it uh, with the average ecosystem value. Yeah. Amazing. Um, can we get staking rewards for all Jinchiris crowd loan uh, rewards, even not distributed yet? Peter, do you want to, to take that? Uh, uh, let me see. Just uh, can we get so staking the, the, rewards the question for all was, crowd okay. loan? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, we got to think about how to uh, make it technically viable and uh, also consider economic decisions because, uh, you know, we're happy to distribute tokens, but uh, we don't want to be too generous as well. <laughs> Definitely, we'll consider that. Thank you for the question. And uh, please come join our community calls. We're regularly here like once a month or so ask us in the group and uh when we decide something on this, we'll definitely let uh, our community know. Okay. Uh, so what about 40% bonus? 
Um, so apparently it's related to our bonus during the crowd loan being on polka dots. Uh, so it's uh, uh, it's actually everything is uh, dis disclosed in the strategy uh, which was published in our medium. I'll ask my colleagues to drop uh, the link to this uh, medium article into the chat. Uh, you can go there and uh, find out like all the details behind the bonuses uh, for those who contributing uh, less than 10,000 dots. Uh, currently, we have um, quite decent bonus of 30% for early bird participation, which will be active until December uh, 25th. Um, and uh, please go stake for Equilibrium. The crowd loan campaign on chain will be live uh, today. And uh, however, we still have um, uh, the um the 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 option to stake through axdot so you can stake right now through axdot and uh yeah so here here's by the way the link to our crowd loan strategy go there and learn more about uh bonuses and uh, dot uh, eq token distribution through dur during the campaign so we can earn farming on invested gens how this will be implemented um, good question. So I think it's partially related to the question that Peter was covering regarding um, sort of um, staking of unvested gents. Um, so th this actually is something that we're still considering, like how exactly this will be implemented uh, purely from the technical perspective. Um, so eventually we hope that we'll be sharing these details like before January 20th. Um, uh, of 2022 um, and um, actually we'll come up with some details very soon. How do we see the total number of Jinshir tokens we'll receive for participating in the Jinshir crowd loan? Um, so they will be the respective web page for um, for claiming your Jinshir tokens from crowd loan. It will be added to our product line on Jinshira very soon. So before uh, January 20th, when we scheduled the distribution oh. of Jinshira tokens, you'll be able to uh, to go to that web page and see how much you will receive. Yeah, uh, actually that's like a question a lot of people ask because uh, they don't currently see it in our uh, equilibrium uh, application. And I want to apologize for that guys. Uh, because, yeah, but this is uh, this is not about uh, this is not about the log drop. So this is about the crowd yeah. loan. Okay, so will contributor get Jinshir? No idea what, what the guy is asking. To be honest, um, if it comes to the crowd loan polka dot, you will get EQ tokens. Uh, can we get more information on the EQ log drop distribution of GANs of back in April? Um, yeah, so as uh, uh, as we mentioned, uh, we will kick off the log drop distribution simultaneously with uh, uh, distribution of crowd loan rewards, and it's planned for January 20th. Uh, oh, I can give you aggregates if... Uh that's needed if that's reasonable like um we still see people actually locking eqs in the lock drop which is really amazing and uh, i was surprised and uh well with current redenomination values we see already uh two billion tokens locked two billion eq tokens locked and uh everyone will get uh for those locked tokens uh, their jinshiro tokens yeah as promised, and uh, we will start the distribution on 20th of January, as we reiterated several times today already. Okay. When we can expect full support of Kusama on Jinshir? I want to use my KSM as collateral and stake it. Amazing question. So we're currently working on uh, some functionality which allow which will allow for um, sort of bridging Kusama into our uh, product line. And uh, we expect it to be launched uh, soon, probably right after New Year's. Uh, campaign rewards is limited and more than 500 users have joined the campaign. Okay. Uh, did you register your para ID? Yes, we did. Uh, our para ID on Polkadot is 2011. Um, when KSM 
XKSM for crowd loan. Uh, this is also a good question. We are working on that, and uh, <laughs> we will keep keep you guys posted. Plans any rewards for testing the platform in test nets? Mm, not for now, to be honest. Uh, we have kind of a bunch of things on, on in the development pipeline. Is staking available? Um, how do you plan to get liquidity from Bitcoin? Bridges and LA, Chainix. Um, Peter, how do we plan to get liquidity from Bitcoin? Uh, we already have wrapped Bitcoin coming from Ethereum uh, for one part. For another part, yes, uh, Interlay is really a good project and they do this uh, amazing bridge stuff uh, by bridging Bitcoin in a trustless fashion to Kusama and Polkadot ecosystems. Uh, but to interconnect with them, uh, we are uh, all as a community working on XCM integrations. And as you know, as you might know, uh, there's still lots of stuff that needs to be done on that side from uh, part of Web3 and Parity. And uh, we need to test uh, the integrations first on the special uh, test net. Then we need to approach projects and integrate with them. And uh, uh, we've already talked to every single parachain on Kusama and uh, pretty much everyone is aiming uh, to start integrating uh, mid-January next year. Yeah. Amazing. <clears throat> Can the EQ bonuses for CrowdLoan also apply for direct bulk .js contributions? The answer is yes, it can be applied. Uh, however, if you're contributing just through Polka.js, you will not get X dots. And I think this is uh, very important to keep your dots liquid. Uh, so if you guys are staking through our website, our problem uh, web page, you are automatically getting X dot eventually once you get the slot. So it's actually your choice. Uh, definitely contributions to our problem are available through uh, polka.js. Um, however, uh, if you wish to keep your dot liquid during uh, two years per chain periods, uh, I think the best option for you to stake via X dot. Uh, we'll be able to use the X dot without risking our dots. Um, so I can handle that, Alex. Yeah. Uh, pr yeah, pretty much. Uh, and we have reiterated that many times as well. You can use it in any part of our system, just like any other asset. Uh, if you don't want to have a risk of losing it, you can put it into the Balesman pool and earn rewards from Balesman. Of course, uh, if you want to borrow stuff against it, you always risk liquidation, but you can keep your collateralization levels pretty high. And uh, as I already answered uh, in the chat, if you consider, for example, borrowing DOT against X DOT, uh, since these assets are pretty much uh, have one-to-one -one correlation, uh, and we have this fancy way of calculating interest rates. Uh, we see that the risk of this position is uh, minimal compared to other positions where you, uh, for example, have assets which are uncorrelated. So your debt might rise while your collateral falls in value. Uh, in case of X dot and dot, that won't happen. So uh, you can get pretty much competitive and uh, coming back to this cool use case, you can uh, leverage your X dots to get more dots and to get more exposure to different uh, parachain projects. Right. Um, yeah, so are GENs required to maximize bonuses on the platform or will EQ have similar use case after launch? Basically, are users able to be solely in the dot ecosystem without owning Kusama assets like GENs and still have boosted yields? So we still kind of uh, formalizing uh, the mechanics behind Equilibrium's uh, liquidity farming program uh, because Equilibrium is, as you know, is not live yet. It's, it's uh, competing for parachain um, slots, for the parachain slots on Polkadot and um, eventually it takes some, some time. So uh, basically uh, we will communicate accordingly what will be the uh, sort of mechanics behind that. Um, but in terms of like Jinchir staking, yes, you will need to be, you, you basically will be able in the future to 
uh, regulate your um, maximize bonuses your in problem campaign uh, stake by staking more chance so i think we pretty much addressed all the questions today uh, it was very interesting uh, conversation with james uh, and before we go um we i actually wanted to share maybe the last and maybe the most exciting announcements which is um, actually related to our crowd loan on polka dots um so very soon in the coming days we will announce the um sort of the 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 the, the special lottery for those who are participating in the crowd loan campaign on polka dots so during this uh during this uh, lottery you will be able to uh, basically participate in our crowd loan campaign and uh, in at the end of the day um at some specific uh period like points um uh in the future we actually will be um making actually handling the draw when we'll be randomly selecting uh those lucky winners who will get the very big rewards in eq tokens so all the details of this lottery will be publishing uh very soon keep we'll keep you guys posted please keep up with us uh subscribe to our news channels uh specifically on twitter uh, we have the news feed on telegram we have uh telegram uh groups and uh yeah so please go there and uh wait until we announce the details of the lottery they will be they will be very interesting so the guy in the chat is asking when lottery starts so uh like we will be actually uh like the winners of the lottery will be selected from all the participants from the very beginning who staked their dots even through xdot platform until the end of the lottery so during this period we'll be selecting those who will be actively staking and uh, randomly select those who will get uh, very substantial rewards in the eq tokens so this is a very very interesting mechanics and we think that will definitely be interesting for those who are considering to support our problem can be on polka dot um cool i think uh that's pretty pretty much it um peter do you have anything to add um actually no alex i think we've uh covered everything and answered 30 questions so uh pretty amazing community call we had today yeah amazing. let's go get it guys and let's win this slot amazing yeah we're very much looking forward to to, to you guys support and um actually next week, week, week we, we will meet once again um over our community call which will be the 13th community call so yeah please uh please uh, keep up with us and uh, till soon bye-bye yep bye-bye guys